Hi, I'm Dana, and I'm going to talk about my process for a challenge I did recently. It was based off of something my friend said, and I was like, oh, let me try and combine a 10 art style challenge, but instead of doing other people's styles, I'm doing my, my own styles, going all the way back to 2010 and to my current style. Let me know how you think I did. I think I did okay. I definitely got lazy towards the last style because recording was really funky. So I got a little lazy, but I definitely think I did okay. But you guys will let me know. Um, so for this challenge, I decided to choose probably the worst character I could have chose. I, but I was enjoying drawing her recently, so I was like, okay, I'll pick her. But then I didn't realize how poorly her design would transfer throughout the years, like going through some of the older styles. I never used to draw characters with afro textured hair. So the other the last few styles definitely get a little bit crazy cuz I can't replicate the very distinctive hairstyle I have for her. So it was a little bit weird trying to draw her specifically. I mean, I think I guess that's what makes it more challenging, but she just looks kind of silly. Also specifically with her ombre um since i didn't use to blend colors her ombre also looks i mean it doesn't look bad it definitely looked interesting you guys will see that once we get to the later or the earlier styles i guess i would say instead um but yeah so this is just footage of the current style there's not much to say about it in terms of why i did what i did it's just what i do currently and I mean I don't know I like it it's it's cute um oh I though I did at some point I don't know when that'll happen in the footage but at some point I decided to turn her head because she looked kind of silly looking like in the same direction as her body in a way like that didn't like make sense like I guess like the line of action between the head and the body were the same so it just looked like she was just blankly staring out into the distance and it looked kind of silly so at some point I'll flip her head over but otherwise I do think it you know it's my style I think the eyes are a little bit small but that also could be because she might just look weird because I didn't put her in her sunglasses her sunglasses is another distinctive part of her design I usually actually don't draw her with her glasses because I'm too lazy to draw glasses and that's what happened this time but anyways I think that's all I have to say about this first one I don't think there's anything else I have to say so let's move on to the next one Okay, so this is 2018 I'll have references pop up um, this one had three references well three references that I show. There's a third, there's a fourth reference that I decided to use. So basically I had tried to do the challenge before, but failed. And when I originally did this style, it did, I didn't really like how it came out. So I decided to add another reference. She was the only like girl who didn't have makeup on. And back in the day, I only drew in lips if they were wearing lipstick. So for like this character, she's not wearing lipstick. Those are her natural lips. So I realized that I did not need to color those in based off of that reference I decided to use. Oh, and for this style, the reason why I picked this one was because of the hair. Since the hair isn't, um, like it doesn't have line art over it, I thought it was an interesting style to choose. And since it wasn't that long ago, I do remember when I decided to like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this as a part of my style. Um, it didn't last for that long, but I definitely do like it. I think it actually works better with like characters who have darker hair. It like it makes more sense for some reason. Um, but it definitely like looks good, and I kind of want to try try it again. I'm not sure how to make it work with my current style now. Yeah, I think this is all I have to say for the second art style. So let's go on to the third one. So this is 2016. For this art style, it was literally these two pictures. I never drew in this art style ever again, even though I do like it. There's or there's elements that I like it, about it. There are some elements that I don't. Like I was talking to a friend about this challenge that I did, um, and she didn't really like this one. She didn't like the end result of this 
um, picture. And I was like, oh, it might be because um, there are no whites in the eye. Like, there's no, like, highlights. And she was just like, oh, yeah, that might be it. And I was just like, yeah, it looks kind of dead. And, like, it looks really, like, um, that it's, it's, that she's staring really deeply into your soul. It, it also might be, like, other host of issues, like the blush. Because that was, like, a part of the style, too, is that... So there's no highlights. There's no... There's, there's a copious amounts of blush for some reason. Um, I think those are the only, like, off elements about the piece. Oh, and I did take more from the piece with the character on the the left justin i took more from um his elements because the pose for the character on the right aquilina i just didn't want to do that pose or do something similar i felt like it made more sense to start implementing a stiffer pose because my style wasn't as loose as it is now so it made it made sense to go for his pose so i basically just copied it um i was still able to keep a bit of fluffiness to the hair because aquilina has some fluffiness to her hair and i was just like i could pretend that that's afro like textured hair so that's what i ended up doing i think i do like this one even though it is kind of like off-putting um i don't know it was fun it was fun to do but I don't think there's anything else to say. Let's get on to the next one. This is 2012 and 2013, because the pictures of this style, I think these were the only two pictures again, and um, one was in 2012 and then one was in 2013. So I kind of had to do it that way. Um, so for this one, I picked this one because it had a very interesting like anime-ness to the style in terms of the like the nose. Um, I also thought it was interesting that their eyes were closed at each one. I don't know what phase I was going through then where I just didn't draw eyes. Like I know that the, their expression kind of like makes sense for their eyes to not be open, but then it's also kind of weird, especially nowadays because I love drawing eyes. That's my favorite part. So if I have any excuse to draw the eyes I'm gonna draw them now but I guess back then I was like no thank you um but also the other thing that's really interesting about this style is you might think based off of the sketch and how like the liner I've been doing if I got to that point yet is it looks like she has a three-quarter view like her head's in a three-quarter view it's not I just think during this time I did not know how to use the symmetry tool so I just didn't draw that. Or my other inkling was that her head's tilted or they're like, at least the Valentine's Day one, her head is tilted. I'm not sure about the other one, if his head is specifically like tilted to the side, but I know those heads were supposed to be straight on. I, I don't know. I, I guess I could just kind of tell that that's what I meant to do, but I just didn't use my tools to do it so they ended up with really like lopsided heads that kind of look like their three-quarter view but they're really not but yeah i think this is all i have to say for this one had a lot of fun i actually think it's really cute in the end so i'm really happy with this one next we have 2012 like actually 2012 and i have three reference pictures for this one one of them kind of looks different from the other two I do admit <laughs> the angel and devil one do look a little bit um, different in terms of, at least for me, like it looks different in terms of the style. Like the eyes are different. That's like one main thing. Obviously they're shading. Um, and just like the way it was drawn was just kind of a little bit different, but they were similar enough and I wanted to add shading. So <laughs> I, I added it to the, to the reference guide. Um, so for this one, I chose it um, for for the eyes. I also chose it just because it was a, it it was an interesting chibi styling that I did for I think just these three pictures again. I think I would change styles very frequently, which isn't a bad thing. It's like you know trying to figure out what I like doing, but it was just really interesting like how often I would change. But like nowadays it feels a lot more gradual 
when my style changes like I'll just pick like one little thing to change it's like oh let me do this differently oh let me do this or unless I'm trying to do something completely different then I will just do something completely different but yeah so for this one the eyes were really interesting they have like these little speckles in them you can't really see it on the video but they had like little glittery stuff in it which I to be honest I like that. I might try and implement that into my current style now. I don't know how. It's super cute. I really like this. Um, this is another one where like her hair is like finally like making no sense. And it's not like I didn't used to draw black characters. Obviously. I just didn't give them like afro hair. Afro textured hair. I only gave them just straight spiky anime hair. Which makes sense. That makes sense. Um, that I didn't um, draw them with afro hair. But it was really interesting to work on this one. This one took more, like, mu like much longer than it needed to because I was just doing things so convoluted. Like, I really just should have just made a brush instead of, like, doing this weird outline thing that I was doing. It was, it didn't make any sense. I don't know why I decided to do it this way. But this one definitely took longer, but just because I was just doing it in a very, like, roundabout way. Um... I actually do like this one. I think um, the ombre looks really interesting. Like I said, I'll do the shadows or, or do the highlight and shadows because I did have highlights and shadows of this one. I don't know this this whole this whole challenge was very really interesting to like look back and see how I used to draw things, and not just the style itself, like the brushes I use or how I color things, um, but then also like the anatomy has changed. I don't know. I had a fun. I had a fun time just like looking at the differences. But anyways, let's move on to our last and sixth style. This one is from 2010, and for my references, only one is a human. The other one is some leaves and a tree. <laughs> the only reason I decided to add this as a reference and count it as its own, um, count it to, to, to make this its own style it's just because of how I used to color things I used to not fill things in fully so it leaves this weird like halo effect I mean not weird because I actually kind of like it um in an interesting way of just like how it looks I don't know it looks it looks kind of cool it looks kind of cool so like thank you for joining me as I talked about my old art styles I guess <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, um, like, go back and look at the references and see how well I've done compared to how they ended up. Cause I don't know, I think I did okay. But anyways, I hope you have a good day. Bye!